welcome to my channel so today we are going to discuss on the topic cognitive radio so what is cognitive radio why was this topic cognitive radio came into picture why this technology has a major role in the communication system so basically there are few hindrances that occur in the basic communication system for example there is a lack of spectrum sensing that is frequencies are available but they are categorized into licensed frequencies and unlicensed frequencies so licensed frequencies are those which are purchased which are which are bought by a particular user or a service whereas unlicensed spectrum is a, spe a set of frequencies which are not be which are not purchased which are freely available and can be used by anyone any user so what happens is that these licensed frequencies are allocated for a particular service but they are not being used throughout most of the time these licensed frequencies are freely available when a frequency is freely available we call it as a spectrum hole so on one side we have frequency scarcity while on the other side spectrum holes are available so there is a lack of flexibility in allocating the frequencies so one side frequencies are freely available whereas on the other side there is a scarcity of frequencies if we could somehow allocate these freely available frequencies to those users or services who need frequencies then that kind of technology is nothing but cognitive radio so there needs to be a technology which could sense the spectrum check if the spectrum is free or not allocate the particular spectrum if it is free if the spectrum is free that particular spectrum should be allocated to a service or a or a user who needs a frequency such a technology is called as cognitive radio hence what is cognitive radio we are going to find out the what does cognitive radio really does we already know that radio is nothing but radio is the transmission and reception of electromagnetic waves so in case of radio we just transmit and receive waves but in case of cognitive radio what we do is we add some knowledge to this so we try to understand the environment we try to analyze the environment sense the environment and find out the frequencies that are free and allocate these frequencies to users or services that require those frequencies hence the term cognitive cognitive radio so basically cognitive radio is nothing but cognition along with the radio so what is cogn cognition cognition is nothing but sensing the environment understanding the environment and making appropriate decisions and here we can see that cognitive these are the features of cognitive radio so cognitive radio has intelligence to understand the environment right it has an inter intelligence it has it is flexible the frequencies can be allocated it can be changed it learns from the environment and hence it bec the the technology becomes spectrally efficient and we can also see that environmental awareness dynamic spec, uh, spectrum access and autonomous and agility are the characteristics of cognitive radio hence a cognitive radio helps adapting to a system so basically cognitive radio the definition for cognitive radio is nothing but we can we can transmit we can transmit the waves and receive the waves but at the same time we also try to understand the spectrum allocate the frequencies to those in need this is cognitive radio hence cognitive radio helps users who are in need of frequencies to get frequencies from licensed users licensed users are those users who already have purchased a particular set of frequencies and they are also called as primary users while unlicensed users are those users who do not have frequencies if they if they they, they can use frequencies from unlicensed band but since unlicensed band is heavily crowded we go for the licensed spectrum so cognitive radio helps in 
allocating license frequencies to secondary users. So this cognitive radio, the term cognitive radio was coined by a person called Joseph Mitola. Thank you for the listening. Thank you.